Okay, so we're basically creating basic shapes before before we put in any detail. So the conical hat of the chimney here, and then the cylind cylindrical shape of the chimney. Then there's the dome shape of the beehive hut. Then there's a kind of slice taken out of it, and then a kind of arch shape at the front. Then, then there's a big arch at the bottom, and then there's this, this kind of little oven uh, opening. Um, so yeah begin to put in more detail now slightly more detail so then we have the uh, stepping stones for the scaffold steps uh, outlining so we leave uh, basically we're going to leave a little bit of um, sort of a broken line on the left where the light is hitting the um, basic shape of the bread pizza oven So, yeah, basically circular kind of curving lines around following the shape of the cylinder of the chimney. And the same will apply more or less to the, um, the kind of oval um, line work on the, the main beehive itself. If you can see it here, so we kind of that, that's our, can be our model, the one on the left there. So we, we tend to leave... Um, you know where there's a lot of where there's most of the light is hitting on the left we leave that kind of blank paper there and we put most of our, our detail and lines on the towards the right hand side so it's kind of a, a very quick way to indicate light where light is hitting so yeah so that's it in essence that's the the basis of, of 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 our you know drawing from basic shapes to adding detail Okay, so we're talking about continuous line now. Now, what I find about interesting about the continuous line is that uh, you leave your pen right on the page and you don't take it off, you know, certainly as much as possible. You, you keep it one continuous line. And uh, you trace and retrace over sections. And, and what emerges is a kind of very cohesive uh, pattern. So everything is connected to everything else because it's the one continuous line. And it, it creates a lovely cohesiveness to the whole. So um, in this, we're, what we're going to do is concentrate ultimately in the middle section, which I'm gonna, we're going to have as our focal point. So um, maybe a little bit of detail, some of the rocks just immediately to the left of that focal point. But we're going to leave uh, the left and right side of the um, drawing fairly you know open and loose and uh, just sort of fr freer to allow the eye into the picture so to speak and um, what we're going to do now is use a, a thicker pen called a brush pen it's kind of basically a marker a black marker and we're going to introduce some really black blacks to kind of ramp up the the contrast and to you know indicate that this area is our focal point you know so it's putting in uh, so I suppose the darkest some darkest shadows as well we're next going to add in uh, using uh, the, the finer pen just uh, some more detail yeah just some tonal uh, touches flourishes little bits of detail some little dots whatever and that would that central part would have been like the sort of stop gap between two walls in, in, in the absence of an actual gate that a farmer might put together to keep cows in, people out, possibly. So our next, uh, I guess, exercise is, is about thumbnails. Now, what thumbnails are, are just very basic, uh, very quick, I guess, um, sketches, little thumbnail sketches they're, they're known as. Um, so you don't have to commit a lot of time to them. Uh, but you do the you just throw in the basic shapes of what you're you know of your scene and maybe even the basic tonal values so what the darkest areas and the mid tones and then the light lightest areas um but it's also a good way to kind of you know create kind of see where are the pathways in between to to get into the picture okay so the second 
thumbnail is of the Plassey wreck. First was of O'Brien's castle. And uh, what, we're, what we're trying to do here is um, uh, use the rocks as, as kind of like, almost like um, uh, framing for our pathway into the Plassey. Um, but we're also using the sort of dark areas uh, on the rocks and on the Plassey to kind of connect the foreground with the background. So you'll see that happen. So that, that kind of helps draw your eye again in towards the Plassey, which is our focal point. As O'Brien's castle was our focal point in the previous one. So thumbnails are small pre-sketches before you begin the main drawing or painting. Sometimes you do a few to arrive at a chosen composition. And all composition is, is the arrangement of elements on a page. Um, yeah, so I mean, I find them invaluable uh, uh, to kind of organize my thoughts even at the, at the beginning. It's, it's a nice little meditative thing to do. It's just very useful. So highly recommend thumbnails. Okay, thank you.